Hi right, guys, uh, sorry about that, I don't know really what happened there, the whole phone wouldn't switch around on the camera. I'm going to continue from where I left off and where I messed up and start going through the equipment that I've got and you guys can see it and I'll run you through a lot of the stuff you've probably already seen, you've got, etc. Um, but here we go, we're going to start off now. Uh, we're going to start off onto the waterproof coat here. Uh, this is one that I have basically salvaged, it's uh, DPM camouflage windproof uh, coat, it's made by Airwalk, not that I see many of their clothing items around anymore, um, good jacket, really thick, it's got a nice mesh uh, Gore-Tex layer inside, it's brilliant, it's got the peak cap on the hood, can't go wrong with that, it's going to keep me going, I've also got a large DPM Woodland Camouflage holder over there. That's my backup bag for the moment. Um, that's going to hold things like the bivvy, it's going to hold the, the tent, it's going to hold sleeping bags, it's going to hold larger items that I can't fit in my smaller bug out bag in case of an emergency. I've got my smaller bug out bag here. Um, this just come in off of eBay about 24 hours ago. I got it off of eBay in a sale for £13, it was reduced from 30 if you try and get it into the light. It's a 30 litre military tactical bag, it's got plenty of molly pockets to go on it. Um, I kind of like this bag a little bit more because of the size, but it's surprising. I've managed to get all of this into this bag, into this little one, and I've still got loads and loads of room, still got loads of room I could probably fit a uh, stove and a sleeping bag still in there and a couple more items of clothing um, it's got a smaller pocket up here got a uh, middle compartment in here it's got like a uh, glimpse it there, I'm trying to do this one handed you got a pocket there for keys and pens and pencils and whatever else you want to put in there there's endless things you could do with it got a mesh lining in there which is a pouch, you've got another pouch in there, I keep my first aid kit in this pouch here just so it's at hand, uh, keep the replacement batteries, the first aid kit, hand sanitizer, stuff like that in the top pocket with the woolly hat um, got another front pocket here, it goes into another mesh lining I don't think it can see the lighting's not very well here, so apologies on that guys uh, plenty of straps. I've got a strap down the bottom here that I've readjusted and set up so that my sleeping bag will attach to that eventually. Plenty of molly pockets, 32 in total I've counted. Um, I've actually got some extra molly pouches coming in from the US uh, to be attached to it just to add, add more room on the go. Perfect straps, that's what I liked about it. And the uh, little water pouch at the back with a straw thing at the top. Uh, for the moment, this torch is doing me for everything, the head torch, it's brilliant, you know, it's really bright, goes up, flashes at emergency, it does everything, you know, I got that for a pound out of the pound shop and it works wonders, I've had this now for well over a year and a half, went into storage, I've pulled it back out, I've clipped it onto there for the moment, just because it's at hand, if uh, worst case scenario, I needed to grab it and it could go on my head instantly, or I can just use it as a normal light. It's perfect for that. Put that back over there. Also, another thing that's just come in off of eBay. Uh, I've just bought for four ninety nine a hundred feet of five fifty seven strand power corder. Uh, it takes up five hundred and fifty pound in weight. That's camouflage woodland. Uh, can't really go wrong with that. It's hundred and one things you could do with it. Making, you know, fishing line traps, fixing up your tent, it's just, the world's endless with it to be honest. Um, straight over here, start off with my, uh, this is, I've got about two or three separate first aid kits lying about. This is a standard first aid kit from uh, the pound shop. Luckily I work as a chef, um, so I'm very accessible to a lot of stuff the same as what you would find in the hospital um, morphine based tramadol stuff like that so I've got I'm not going to open it because it's all jam packed but I've got saline cleaners in there I've got a throat opener if someone was choking or you needed to get oxygen into their lungs immediately you'd be surprised little one pound thing I've just updated it and chucked what I know I would need in there for an emergency hand sanitizer, pound shot, packet of three, can't go wrong with that they come with the little clips as well, it's attached to the torch on my bag in here it's a mixture it is just paracetamol, paracetamol 
and diarrhea relief tablets. You never know when you get that moment, you know, it happens to all of us, to the best of us. We have a dodgy ruby one night, we get home, wake up the next morning, you know what's going to hit you. But out there, in, in the badlands, you drink a bit of dodgy water, eat something that just doesn't agree with you, it's your lifesaver. There's 12 tablets now, keep you going for, you know, the moment that you need it. Got some spare batteries here. This collection is going to be built up. There's double A's and triple A's in there. Little tiny mini sewing kit. Just got standard colours that match your clothing and the accessories that I'll have. Some parcel string and some electrical, mini electrical gaffers tape. World's endless for that, you know, we could do anything from that. Bag of candles for that night if you know. You need that extra bit of light in. These produce four or five hours burn time on them at least, you know. You blow them out halfway through, you add an extra hour on because the wax will reset. It, you know, if I needed to start a fire, that could help me, anything like that. Here, got my little accessory pack here of me cleaning stuff. Now, I managed to pick up this pack from the pound shop. Toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpicks, pound, all together. Can't go wrong with it. This toothpaste, it's got an expiry date of 2018. You know, it's got another five, four or five years on it. Can't go wrong with that, I can't complain, it'll sit in the bag and I'll wait until it happens. Little bag of tissues in there, little packet of tissues, can't go wrong with them either. You know, you're going to be on your feet all the time, your hands are going to be cold if it's bad weather, your skin's going to crack, your feet are going to hurt really bad. Dry and cracked skip green cream, it's got peppermint in it, you know, you make your feet smell nice if you want. In here, I've put a couple of bits together. I've worked out because I don't really eat a lot because I never get a chance to eat working in the kitchen as a chef. But in there, there's a couple of items you know that I personally would rather have because they're non perishable, that nothing's going to go wrong with them. This uh, packet of rice, golden vegetable, and packet of pasta, broccoli, and cheese. You know, both of them have got dates on them till 2019. So I ain't going to lose out on nothing there. I can just whack them in there couple of packets of instant noodles both of these have a shelf life till 2020 can't complain with that either easy I got you can't really see it but it's in there that's uh, a soup packet there you just add water to that and you make yourself a chicken noodle soup easy serves four people that one pouch you can add a litre of water to it and it serves four people can't go wrong get it Morrison's in here this is uh, one bag of rice and I've got about five or six cup of soups. Now, not many people know it, don't follow the box with a cup of soup, but I'll tell you from a chef's point of view, a cup of soup holds a 20 year shelf life. Yes, 20 year shelf life. It's not brilliant, it's not gonna fill you up, but I'll tell you something, if you're freezing cold and you're hungry, it's better than nothing, it'll do the job. These are just Morrison savers. You get four in a box for I think 29p or 39p. Cannot go wrong with that. Over to here, tin of spam. You know, it's got shelf life till 2017, can't complain. Protein, it will add to it. Tin of Irish stew, 2016. Chicken curry, 2018. Two perfect meals, I'll eat them, they'll, they'll do me. Pair of long, large, heavy duty scissors. A tin opener, can't leave home without it, I am a chef. So in here I've got my little bit of my condom.